joined here this morning by Dean. Dean, uh, lots to talk about. Uh, not only in 48 hours time, we'll be playing an FA Cup tie with uh, your old club, Walsall. Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, I don't think it's very often that Brentford Walsall ends up with your away fans selling out. Um, so something exciting must be happening. Um, no, but really looking forward to it. You know, I think it was probably inevitable that the, the draw would come out and it'd be my old team. Um, but I'm looking forward to it because you know I know both sets of both sets of players really well now and uh, should be a good game. I mean, that's very intriguing, isn't it? You all know uh, they've not been able to obviously strengthen, maybe. Uh, so you know exactly what players, how they tick, their deficiencies and their strengths as well. Uh, does that change your approach to the game? No, not really. I mean, it, it's been difficult talking about the, the weaknesses of the players that I've had for a long time. Um, you know, and but you know, when I was Warsaw manager, I used to say to the players sometimes, you know, what would an opposite, opposition manager think about you? Um, you know, and, and what would you like him to say about you? So, you know, I've been that manager this week doing that. Um, but as you say, it's an intriguing game. It's one that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm not sure what sort of reception I'll get at the moment. Uh, I'd like to think with all the goodwill messages and letters and emails I've had from the Warsaw supporters wishing me well that you know they, it'd be quite a good one because they can see where I took the club from, you know, bottom of the league to nearly the top of the league, and uh, you know, hopefully that success can continue for them after Saturday. In previous cup matches, we've had a little bit of rotation, especially with home games in, in previous head coaches and managers. Uh, what's your sort of thoughts on that leading up to Saturday? Well, ideally, you wouldn't want to. Um, but the league, in their wisdom, have put uh, two fixtures in, in, so we've got three home games in six days. So it's something that I certainly have to look at, um, you know. But I want to go and win the game. We want to get through to the next round of the cup if we can. So it'll be a strong team as, as I possibly can play as. Yeah, we're in the January transfer window now. A lot of speculation going around social media. All sorts of uh, funny season, really, isn't it? The summer and the, and the January windows. What's the sort of latest on that? Because I understand there's been some some interesting players. Yeah, and there always will be when a when a team's doing well. The, they'll be interested in your players, and uh, you know, as as a football club, we've done well over the last few seasons, and there's been there's been interest in our players. You know, um, we've had bids for Alan Judge and James Tarkowski but we've turned both of them down because we're in a position where we don't want to sell our players at the moment. Um, we feel that we're, we're moving uh, moving upwards and improving and um, we want to keep our better players at the football club so you know uh, while these clubs are interested you know they're clubs from the same league as us and um, you know our uh, remit is to we want to keep our players and, uh, and keep improving. Yeah, there's also been talk about Hotter. I know he's been on the bench for for a few games since he's come back from injury. Uh, what's the latest on that? Yeah, I mean Hotter's genuinely got a calf strain. He pulled out on Friday for the Birmingham City game. You know, uh, he'd been struggling with his fitness, but he's also got a couple of personal issues as well that would would been helping him through as a as a football club as well. So I can't really go into too much more detail because it is of a personal nature for for Hotter. But you know, his love for the football club and you know, as for him. Um, he's still the same, but we've got to help him through this period. Finally, uh, congratulations, Manager of the Month nomination in your first four weeks at Griffin Park. Yeah, no, very nice, very pleased to hear that. Um, you know, it was a tough month looking at it. Uh, you know, a lot of games. Um, you know, and probably uh, being a little bit greedy, but feel we should have had more points. You know, I thought of Hotter's goal at at, um, at Fulham. Um, you know, and how we played at, at Brentford against Brighton at home as well. So, um, you know, it's nice that we, we only lost one game in that period and, and won three. And it's always nice to get nominated because it, it shows that you're doing something well.